Hello there, everyone. The Andrade here, and welcome back to episode 12 of our FTB University Let's Play series, where today we are working on getting our storage drawer system set up and automating the processing of all of our ores, doubling them up. So let's get started. Welcome back, everyone, to Casa the Andrada, in which today we are working on expanding our applied energistic system. Um, in between episodes, uh, I went ahead and did a little bit of expansion, but before we do so, we do have quests that we need to collect, so I want to go through and get those. So we have our drawer upgrades quests, which gets us illumination upgrades for our drawers. Uh, we should also have uh, quite a few quests in AE2 here, so we have our um, ME cables, which actually I needed those, so that's actually kind of nice. Uh, and our storage drive gets us, oh, 54 1K storage components. What? I like that. What can I make with 54 though? Like, what do I need? I don't know. That's a lot though. I can convert these over into 4Ks if I had some redstone. And you might be thinking, but the Andrada, you have redstone. You had a bunch of redstone before. Well, things have changed, my friends. We don't have any redstone anymore. We have run out. Um, we do have more cables though, so that's great. And we'll talk about why we have run out in a moment, because I have done some crafting and some things. And yeah, uh, we did some XNet, so we get some uh, network cables, extra ones. Oh, and we use blue, so we're going to take the blue ones. I generally tend to use blue because they're easily made with lapis. Everything else requires special dyes and stuff, uh, which we, you know, you, you, red dye, you got to have poppies or you got to have like beetroot or uh, red plant that you can grow roses uh or like yellow is sunflowers or daisies and stuff like that and it's just it's 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 more complicated to get into so i just generally tend to not use other colors um let's see we have uh these are all just regular quests walking through xnet we've already done um walking through xnet this is automating a smelter which we don't need we automated inscribers i think i think if we can automate inscribers we can automate a smelter it's really not that difficult to automate a smelter. Um, yeah, and then this is routing and making uh, subnets and everything like that. Let's see, we should have some uh, in the miscellaneous ur because I made a cobble gin, which is gonna give me one giant cobblestone from uh, Twilight Forest. Not entirely sure what I should do with that. I mean, it'll turn into 64 cobblestone, but I really don't need the cobblestone because, uh, spoiler, we have uh, this guy here. It's not really a spoiler because we talked about it last episode, but we have, you know, this guy full of cobble there. We could even upgrade this drawer. Actually, I think I have some upgrades left over. I have upgrade templates still. Um, do I want... Do I want to make a um, iron upgrade? This is what I've been crafting lately is iron upgrades. I don't know. All my stuff is elsewhere. I almost almost gave it away, so we're not going to deal with that right now. And then uh, the, we just had this one quest from Mahu Sakai, which uh, I'm not going to collect because it's going to give me this dagger, and I don't, I'm not ready to deal with Maho yet. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all of our quests. What did I do in between episodes? Uh, well, like I said, I was going to go ahead and uh, set up our storage drawer. So if we slowly back up over here and then I slowly reveal the storage wall. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, standard storage drawer set up here. So I went ahead and moved our builder over to the corner here. The uh, dimensional cell is down there. So it's pumping into power into the builder. Uh, Barrel is here. I routed the cables from the back of the barrel into the storage drawer. So when we turn this guy on, everything will still route appropriately. Um, and since I moved it, it did start back over at chunk zero of all of them. So it's going to be going back through those. But apparently it missed stuff the first time I ran it through. And now I realize why. Remember, I had this set to coal only. So maybe like the first like three chunks or something like that were set to coal only so we can get a bunch of coal. So, yeah, anyway, so it's going to run through and do its thing and it filters out to all of the drawers and all of these pretty much remain the same. Uh, so we have all of our individual ores. We have um, I added slime balls. We have all of this stuff and this stuff was the same. I went ahead and added dirt, cobble, gravel, sand, stone, and glass to this so that we can have that. I did add void upgrades to all of these, which is super simple. We have lava available to us down here. Plus, in the nether, we have lava too. 
So, um, oh, I know. Yeah, duh. We can't use the nether for lava. We can't put water there. I, all my water, all my lava came from there is what I'm trying to say. Um, there's that big old lava lake that we had downstairs. Uh, and then I have our compacting drawers set up with all of our different ingot types uh, and, and like redstone or redstone, lapis and all that stuff. Glowstone and bada bing, bada boom. So there we go. We have extra drawers. Um, I did have to switch over to using iron upgrades for these because uh, gold upgrades, though they're like they only use two gold. This many drawers, we don't have that much gold. Like, I still have gold. Uh, no, actually, I'm pretty sure I've added all of my gold into this. Yeah, we have one stack of gold. Like, that's it. We don't really have that much. We do have a little bit more in one of these drawers that I could process and everything, but I don't have enough to make gold upgrades. Nor I probably do have enough to make gold upgrades for all of these drawers, but uh, I just didn't want to burn through all my gold and then have to run the quarry again for gold. So... Yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and add the stuff in here, which is just the iron, and yeah, that should be everything cleared out here. And so we have a storage drawer system. However, as we saw earlier, when I'm trying to craft, I can't use it, right? I can't I can't do anything with any of the stuff inside of the storage drawers because, well, it, it it's detached from my AE system. And so that's what we're going to work on today is getting that set up and well fixed so that we can actually access everything inside of the AE system. So what I need to do is clear myself a path um, and we're going to go ahead and dig down one and we're going to run cables all the way over to our AE system so that we can uh, do the thing that we need to do. So we're going to go ahead and go down here and then real quick I need to go ahead and dig up quite a little bit more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dig down here so that I can see what in the world I'm doing when we get over to here. Some copper, at least. Bam, let's give ourselves a way up. And then I need to dig over to here. Am I in line still? Yes. Bam. So now I can connect these pathways and uh, get the cables run down this way. And it's going to be all hidden and nice looking and all of that good stuff. So this is where the storage bus is going to sit when we create that. So I'll just go ahead and start um, running the cabling along. Now, yes, it probably... Oops, what did I do? I probably should use... Uh, excuse me, sir. Probably should use like covered cables, but we don't have a lot of wool or anything like that. So I haven't I haven't set up covered cables or the smart cables. However, right now we're only using what we have a disk drive. We have a terminal and we're going to have this storage bus. So three of our eight channels uh, that are available to us. So I'm not I'm not super duper worried about it. Um, it's probably getting pretty dark for you guys. Eventually it will be an issue. I'm going to have to come back under here and upgrade the cables unless does AE have an in-place cables upgrade system like uh, Mechanism does where I can like right click some wool on the cables or something. Highly doubt it. But, you know, we'll figure it out when we get to that point, uh, what we're going to end up needing to do. Anyway, so I need to run cables from here over. Uh, so the easiest or well, the most pretty looking way is going to be for me to do it like this. And then we can go here. And then that's in line. Yes. OK, I just want to get this all run, all filled in so that we can, you know, close it up and then we can get the storage bus going. And then oh, come on. Yeah, and that cable is now going to be stuck there for forever. Do do do. OK. break the stone so that way you know if we ever need to come back down there uh we, we can't because you know it's like you know not possible but hey let me up it's just like one is like half a block too short okay so there's the cable and no one is the wiser the cable is gone from view and we just need to be able to access this so we can get the storage bus and i believe we actually do need to put a block here because the storage bus is, or a cable there because they uh, take up a half block height. We're going to go ahead and put all this in here and we'll add it to the system in a second. OK, 
So what do we need to do? We need to make this ME storage bus. So uh, if you've used refined storage in the past, refine it is very similar to refined storage's um, external storage, where you can access stuff externally. What did I need? I need some iron and I need redstone. I'm not going to add this into our AE system because I already went through and pulled out all of the stuff that I want to have added, uh, which I meant to do this sky slime too. Uh, did I want to do the sky slime? I don't remember. No, I didn't. I don't project myself having more sky slime. It's more slime that I'll probably end up having. We'll see what happens. We can always modify it later. Anyway, I'm digressing. So let's do two pistons. Um, so we're going to do this and this. And what are you using? Soapstone? Did I do that backwards? I did. Sure. Use soapstone. That's fine. It's just it, any kind of cobblestone. Uh, and there, yeah, there's no cobblestone in the system yet because it's all in the thing behind us. And we should. I thought I had an interface available because didn't I make, oh, I thought it made three interfaces or, um, uh, no, but we do need glass. Okay. I thought that the, uh, when we made that illuminated thing, it made three of them, but I guess not. We really only have one glass available. Okay. We can solve that. We also only had 63 sand available. Apparently, uh, I need you in the smelter with a little bit of do 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 all the dudes okay so then we're gonna do this and 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 then we're gonna do this storage bus bam okay and I'm pretty sure this is yeah quest completed external storage I'm like I'm pretty sure this is the block that we need to be able to do this but uh now I was questioning myself but the quest saved me from that okay um devices online good so it showed up so what we're gonna do is um set the priority on this so what we want to do is we're going to want to set the priority on this to 10 uh, for insertion a higher priority is first and so what that means is anything that i get that gets added to our storage system is going to automatically go into this so we're going to set this to a thousand that way nothing can ever be a higher priority than our drawer system and so what's going to happen is if i were to um first off close this off because it is no longer needed to be full and we're going to just put stuff back there that way mobs don't spawn and if we come over here we actually should now be able to see all of the stuff that is inside of our drawers which is nice look we have like our, our gold and all that stuff everything is showing up in here now so our redstone dust with that high priority what that means is if i go look at our redstone dust over here and it says that we have inside of here 727 redstone right and i come back over here and i put this redstone in the system we now have 789 redstone, but that redstone did not go into one of these types here. What it did is, since this is the highest priority, the AE system said, oh, high priority over here, redstone is available. We're gonna go ahead and put redstone into this drawer. And so with the void upgrades that we have on here, if for example, Vintium ore, wherever the heck that is, if we mine up a bunch of Vintium ore and we process it or whatever, when we get to that point and stuff um, automatically, and then we like import it into our AE system, you know, it, instead of it importing into our disks here, it will actually import into its respective drawer. And then if that drawer is full, because we have a void upgrade in, it will, override or it'll void the stuff in the drawer which is great that's exactly what i want to happen uh so we're going to go ahead and add all this stuff into there because uh extra drawers by the way uh because well we can and there we go we have everything set up for mass storage essentially for our ae system so we have access to all of our our our, our ore all of our ingots and all that stuff so then our next step in this whole process is to go ahead and get all of our ore auto processing. Because we don't wanna have all of our ore just sitting in there, right? We want it to sit in the drawers when it's being mined because we don't want it to import into our system. Though eventually when we get to the point where we have all of our ore processed, it would only be popping into our system and then exporting out where it needs to go. But for now, having it set up into these drawers makes it easier for the, um, I don't have to put like an a importer over here. It can just go into the drawers and the AE system has access to it. And it's fine. Doesn't bother me that we all have we have all these in here. 
What we do need to do is get something set up though that we can export from our AE system into this barrel over here. So we can have all of these ores. Anytime we mine up an ore that can be doubled, it automatically gets doubled, turns into ingots and does the thing that it needs to do. Make sense? I hope so. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to make, I believe, it's the export bus. It will push items from its ME network into the inventory it is facing. That's what I said I needed, export bus. Um, MBT, acceleration cards make it faster, insert a crafting card to allow it to craft. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is get this export bus set up. So I'm gonna add that to our to-do list. We already made our storage bus, now we need the export bus. I'm gonna need to make another formation core, which I should be able to do. And we're going to need to make another piston, which I should now be able to do because we have access to all of our stuff and it used cobblestone because now we have cobblestone in the system. Bada bing, bada boom, we have an export bus. Grab our Fluix cables. We're also, by the way, going to need the opposite of this, which is an import bus. And I didn't think about it, but we're going to get it. Okay, let's make another piston and stickify it and make annihilation cores and there we go yeah import bus export bus and what the import does is that it's the i in io and the uh, export is the o in io input output right so what we need to do is get this set up so that we have um cables run over here so we're gonna it's it's gonna be a little bit janky looking uh but that's okay because well, who's going to be looking? Uh-huh. Good question. Nobody, because it's going to be hidden behind the wall. <laughs> That's my philosophy, at least anyway. Uh, at least until we get a basement going, and then we might have a mess. But maybe by then, we'll actually clean up these cables and make it all look nice and everything, you know? Progress. That's the way. That's that's the name of the game. Let's go ahead and place a piece of dirt here, and then I can put the cable here, and then you here, and then you here. And then you, not there, that's not where I intended to put that, but that's okay, let me out of here. Okay, cool. So what we need to do is this guy is going to be where all of our stuff imports into, like all this glass. So we're gonna set the import bus onto the back of this, and we're gonna put the export bus onto the barrel, okay? And then we can go ahead and get cables set up for both of these, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, so it's going to take a second for them to get going, but you can see already it's already importing glass into the system. It, it's working like it's supposed to. So we now have one, two, three, four, five of our eight channels used. So we are getting a little bit close to needing to use a different side or well to, to have to expand off of these cables and run different cabling. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that when the time comes, like I said. Anyway, so this is the import bus inventory. Um, it has a, I believe this is a filter slot, right? Yes, but it only has a filter of one. There are uh, expansions for this where you can get, I believe there's a filter expansion. I'm sorry, it's not applied. It's, or it's not EE, it's applied filter, maybe. Uh, card, advanced card. Redstone, acceleration, capacity, fuzzy, inverter, crafting card, memory card. Not the yeah, memory card goes in there. That's what it looks like. Uh, so, yeah, something like that. Something can go in here to be able to expand this filter. Don't need to worry about it right now. The quest book will tell us when that time comes. Uh, and then the export bus. Oh, hey, look, guess what? We need to actually... <laughs> The time has come. Uh, we only have one slot for our export bus to determine what goes into this. So we need to figure out, well, how do we expand that so we can export our ores? Let's go look into our quest book. Um, so an export bus, whitelist by default only has one slot, but can be upgraded to nine with capacity cards. Okay, so that's what we need is capacity cards. Capacity card. And that's you. You just require some kind of Certus Quartz quick Crystal and Basic cards. So you're gonna get two. So, like, how many of these do you need? Like, oh, uh, so that gives me, two. you can accept two or a, increase the storage by two because it's it's got one now. So if I added four into there, that would give me nine slots. That would make more, that would make sense. But let's go ahead and put one of these in here and see what it does. Oh, and there's also a quest for it. Let's go check out the quest. Maybe it'll give me more. No. Uh, generally devices only have one slot available. Up to two capacity cards can be installed to bring it up to nine. Okay, well, it says two in there. So let's go ahead and grab a second one. Quest said two, we're gonna look at two. Okay, 
So if I put one in here, or well, if I put one in here, yep, it opens up those slots, four, and then this opens up the other four. Bam, okay. So then we need to get all of our ore exporting into this. So let's just go ahead and go over here and grab ore that we know is going to be able to be processed in here. Because not everything can be processed. We are limited to only nine slots right now. We can expand that by adding another export bus. Um, and I don't know, does that AE2 have export buses that have more storage? Doesn't seem to be. No. Nope, nope, nope. That's okay though. No advanced exporters like from refined storage. That's okay. We'll make it work. Uh, so what do we need? We need iron. Please, I would like you to put that in my inventory if you could. Tin, you're not gonna do it though. What if I control click? Nope, you put a whole stack. That's not what I want. Uh, what if I, nope, nope. Yeah, but you're not putting it in the inventory, which is what I really want you to do. So this is nine slots here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I don't know why I needed to count. I knew that. Anyway, uh, so where did I stop? So we have iron, we have tin, and it figures there would be two different tins. Nice. Osmium ore, copper ore. Got to get the second tin. Uh, we're definitely going to want uranium, copper again, and lead. Is that our dividing mark? Nope. There's another lead. Ugh, and gold and silver. Gold, silver, nickel, and that's it. So we have a total of 12 that need exported. Uh, why you got to do this to me, game? Why you got to be like that, huh? And then I'm going to need another set of capacity cards to be able to get this done. So I need two more of these and then two of these. And there we go. So that is now six things on our network. If I am mathing correctly, uh, which I may not be. If I can count properly. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this here and here and then export bus here to there and capacity cards. OK, cool. Scheduling mode. Export the first item until the network is empty, then try the network. Next one's using round robin in random mode. Well, wow, actually, I kind of like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and fill up the back one first because I'm not going to be able to access that one as easily. So we're going to go ahead and do all of these inside of here. And then we will do these three in there. And it should immediately start filling these up and doing the thing. Bam. So then it's going to get processed over here and then it'll get imported into the system. And that is our system here, fully automated. Like, no joke, we are automated up. No, no, no issues, except for I'm going to break this. I'm going to put this here so that I can at least cover up this. There we go. So then the only thing we're going to see is there. And again, we can get facades and covers uh, if we wanted to. We could actually do this now with cable anchors. We need to get a uh, Certus Quartz knife and then iron. It said. And then it's one of these with this, 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 and this. And that's going to make four facades. And then if we just take this facade, we can go ahead and put it here, here. No, oh, that's the wrong side. You jerk. Nope. Buddy, if you could just do what I want you to do, that would be much obliged. Now I got to break the cable to break the facade. How do I get this thing to face? Nope. Bring that back. Nope, and it breaks. Okay. Probably should use the wrench for this. Oh, and I broke my export bus. And it's probably reset its inventory. And I don't remember what went in there. Ooh, gold, silver, and something else. All right, buddy. Buddy old pal. It was gold, it was silver, and well, whatever's going to get left over, because I have no idea now. Shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Gold and silver. There was a third. Who knows what it is? I want you to go like face this way. How do I? No. No. 
Does it not like block off this cable? I need to get the tool. Do I have the tool? Do I have the thing for this? Yes, because you'll just be able to pop those off without having to break the cable. And I should have been using that the whole time. How do I get this to face the correct direction? Do I need to... Do I need to actually break this, put this here and then there? Yep, that's exactly what I need to do. And there we go. Bam, now you can't see it except for that cable there, but that's fine. One little cable sticking out is perfectly fine with me. I'm not going to cry about that. My milk is not spilt. We're good to go. Um, why are you no importing though? Did I break something else? I did. I broke this connection. I don't even know how I broke that connection or when that would have happened, but I did. Okay. Um, I need you. Where did my... Come here, Terracotta. There you go. And... Look, we can use another facade right here. Bam. Beautiful. Beautiful looking. It's all covered up nice and neat. We have everything going. We have all of this stuff. All of our ores are being processed into that barrel. And eventually that barrel will fill up, which is perfectly fine. Once it fills up, it'll stop importing, obviously. Um, and then just two different lead ores. Why? This should be ore dictionary and it should be set to one, but that's okay. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, so that's all going to go into there and then it'll all end up into our drawers and we have our ores completely automated. We have a drawer system set up. We have a wireless storage network um, with, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six cables being used. So it would probably be prudent for us. Um, excuse me, sir. Do not ignore what I want to search. I want you to be... JEI synchronized stand. Yeah, I want it standard. Keep. But if I do it over here, I wanted to do it over here. Nope, it just erases everything. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, so we want smart cables, right? So we just want uh, regular smart cables. Then we are going to probably want some dense cabling too at some point, but I don't know what. Dense smart cable is. Oh, just a, a oh, dense covered cable, which is covered cable four of them, which is just glass cable covered in wool. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. So then that's dense covered cable and then dense smart cable. And then there is regular smart cable, which we're gonna want regular smart cable as well because it will allow us to, oh, Fluix smart cable. I don't, the color doesn't, I don't really care about the color right now. I just need to be able to make these. So it's glass cable and then any piece of wool, which I have none, so. Uh, we're going to have to figure out wool, but then I'll be able to replace these cables with that. And I'll probably run like dense cable out to here and then I can branch off of that. So that way we're able to utilize all 32 channels off of the controller face. And then, you know, yeah. Anyway, uh, that is basically it for this episode. So if you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. And it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one. Have a good one.